in the heat of the summer. Escape to the country with Carlton. Refresh yourself tomorrow at 8, the darling buds of May. The late night headlines from ITN follow in just a moment. Then exclusive coverage of the Lions Tour with action from today's match against Hawke's Bay and a look ahead to the All Blacks game. You can't park there. <laughs> You can with a Nissan. You can't have a small car that's good on the open road. You can with a Nissan. ABS anti-lock brakes are standard for around 11,000. <gasps> Come with an Nissan. Come again, John. You can't have a Nissan that makes people's jaws drop. from McCain is top to perfection, piled high with delicious toppings, heaps of mozzarella cheese on a deep light base. McCain Pizza Perfection is topped to perfection. Oh, this is the light. Just the two of us. Excuse me. Couldn't give me a lift ashore, could you? Of course. Climb aboard. Coffee? Terrific. Mmm. Nescafe. No mistaking coffee at its best. Thanks. Look, I'd like to return the favor. Why don't you join me on my boat tomorrow? The best days are Nescafe days. Kellogg's Golden Crisp. Sweet oaty flakes. Plump raisins with smooth slivers of almond. Altogether a rich, sumptuous taste. A little indulgence to be savored in peace and quiet without interruptions. Make a silence really golden with Kellogg's Golden Crisp. What now? Now we... Hit the hut. Hey, hey, hey! Get a barbecue pizza, chicken or bacon and beef, only $5.99 at Pizza Hut. That was delicious. Yes. Now let's get back to the beach and do a bit more sunbathing. For a barbecue pizza, hit the hut. Fantasy or fact? Travel through hyper-reality with fantastic facts. The program whose watchwords are strange but true. You'll be bewildered by Chester Cable and his amazing table. We reveal the incredible truth about your body. Fiona Armstrong reports and Professor Wolf Lund dusts off another bunch of bizarre inventions. So sit back, take a deep breath and once again prepare to enter the fabulous world of fantastic facts. So cue the plummy commentator and cue the cranky old black and white film. Fantastic facts, tomorrow at 7 on Carlton. This is Carlton, television for London. Now, just ahead of tonight's rugby, let's check on the headlines from ITN with Phil Roman. Nine people, including three children, have been killed by a Serb artillery shell in the Bosnian town of Zinitsa. The group were playing or watching a game of chess when they were hit by artillery shells. 
The shells were fired from Serb-held positions. They fell next to a block of flats on a housing estate near the town centre. The Prime Minister has dismissed as fantasy a report that a member of the ruling Saudi royal family had given the Conservative Party £7 million. John Major made the denial of the summit in Copenhagen after the Guardian newspaper ran the story earlier. And tonight, Clive Soley, Labour MP for Hammersmith, said during a debate on political funding that Trade President Michael Heseltine was the minister alleged to have met a Saudi prince over aid to the Tory party. Mrs Heseltine says her husband will have to take it easy after suffering a heart attack in Venice. Mr Heseltine is said to be cheerful and in a satisfactory condition. His wife described how her husband was feeling. But you don't think that in any sense it does put a question mark over his continuation in government or... Do you know, frankly, to me, that it's just not important. I mean, he's my husband and I love him and I want him to get better. That's it for now. We'll have more news later. You're watching Carlton. <laughs> An incriminating photo comes to light in prisoner cell block H this morning at one o'clock. But first rugby and today's action from the Lions Tour.